as with so many of my videos lately, this is going to be building on a topic I have previously spoken on. Uh, I, I've recently had some uh, extended conversations about transparency and honesty on the part of the Dungeon Master in D&D. This was specifically in regards to fudging dice rolls, uh, which is a subject that I have made a video on already, so I'm not going to try and focus on that specifically in this video. Um, uh, if you have seen the previous video, you know that I am very much against fudging dice rolls. I think it is uh, pointless, and basically there's no way to justify doing it. But on the broader topic of honesty and transparency in RPGs, I would like to say a few words. This applies to both Dungeon Masters and players in varying degrees of equality. Um, so, D&D is a tabletop RPG. Like all tabletop RPGs, there's an element of storytelling. This is a cooperative storytelling experience. Uh, and as such, there's a few good practices that should go down. Uh, you want to be able to communicate with the other players at the table. Uh, this is quite important, as I'm sure you will agree. Uh, if you communicate to the other uh, players at the table, they are able to communicate with you, and you are able to construct a story together about your characters. The issue is, should you ever hide information from the other players? Just today, the topic of whether or not it should be acceptable to go look at other players' character sheets came up. I argue... There's no reason why that should not be allowed. There's really no way to justify not wanting other people to look at your character sheet. Because either there's mechanics there, you shouldn't have anything to be afraid of, because it's just mechanics. It's how your character mechanically works. Uh, the worst possible thing that could happen, somebody looking at your sheet, is, oh, you, I think you've miscalculated that. Or either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Either way, like, you know, correcting a mistake or noting that there has been no mistake, it's fine. Mechanically, there's no reason to not to let them look at your character sheet. Or uh, you have story information, secret story information. Oh, backstories, hidden backstories, uh, plot twists that you've got in your pocket ready to pull out. Well, you don't want to spoil them. But here's the problem with that. Imagine a bunch of writers in a writer's room writing a TV show. This is the, the metaphor that I've used a number of times. I think I may have used this in a previous video. Uh, and I've definitely used it on Discord recently. Imagine a bunch of writers in a writer's room trying to write episodes for a TV show. This TV show that is your RPG campaign. I'm one of the writers, and I have a plot idea. Oh, and it's really good. It's about my character. His backstory. This, like, secret aspect of his backstory. Okay, okay. Well, I don't want the other writers to know about this. Or they'll get spoiled. You know, because And it's kind of the weird thing, because we are both the writers and the audience for RPGs. And that, I think, is, is part of where the, the difficulty lies. You don't want to spoil the audience, but you have to spoil the writers if you want this to be well integrated into the campaign. And so I think there is... Um, it's not that there is no argument, it's that nearly always it is better to take your secret information and show it to the other writers and say, hey, here's this thing that's going on with my character. Uh, the other, and, and let them know, oh, the other characters don't know about this, but here's the really cool, fun backstory that I have for my character. Oh, isn't that fun and cool and evocative and oh yeah there's definitely going to be a time coming up when that's going to be relevant because i have this secret backstory as well that kind of interlocks and interacts with that <gasps> oh yeah we could have a really cool moment in the future where our characters find out about each other's backstories and or maybe oh maybe we already do know each other None of that can happen if the players don't know. Separating player knowledge from character knowledge is a critical skill for playing RPGs and creating stories with them. If you want to just play an RPG as a dungeon crawl and you're not really caring about backstories, then none of this video matters to you at all. But if you are trying to construct a story together, if your campaign has significant strong story elements, character backgrounds matter, these kinds of things, 
then then you need the other players to be on board. You need the DM to be on board for sure. You need the other players to be on board if they are going to help contribute to these powerful story elements. Uh, if they don't know, they can't interact with it. They can't foreshadow it. They can't build in interesting story elements from their own characters into... They can't, like, tie in their characters to your character. You're always going to be quite separate. As long as you are keeping secrets from the other party, those secrets are a little wall between you and them. And the story's just more interesting when those walls don't exist. You know, when the other players are able to weave their characters' stories in with your own... Like, the, you can create incredibly powerful moments in RPGs. We do this in my L5R campaign all the time. There's a whole bunch of aspects of the characters' backstories, all the characters, that the other characters, the other player characters, don't know about. But we as players do. And so that makes it all the more powerful when, thing, when characters inadvertently touch on those background elements. Now, it may be intentional on the part of the player, it probably is. But the characters don't know, but the players do, which means that we, as the players, still get to enjoy that moment of tension and drama and, and story and character development that, that occurs. That couldn't happen if the players kept secrets from the other players. So I would encourage you, as a player to be open with the other players about your character's backstory, about your character's secrets. Let them know, but be sure that they know that this is a secret and the, the characters don't know. This, I think, factors in... Are, uh, that's not the right way to put it. This is going to rely on the idea that the players are mature enough to separate themselves from their characters. There's a tendency, especially amongst new players to RPGs, uh, and this is not just D&D specifically, this is the RPGs in general. You have your one character. There is a tendency to treat that character as your avatar in the game world. And I think that is an incorrect approach to RPGs. Or not an incorrect approach. It's an approach, for sure. But I think it is a very limiting approach. And it, it, it creates difficulties when you're trying to do cooperative storytelling. Because if you have your avatar in the, in the game world, you always want what's best for that, that character. And you're going to have a tendency to say like, oh, well, I know this secret, so I want my character to find out. And that's often, often when there is a secret, leaving it a secret for as long as possible is usually the most interesting and entertaining way to handle that secret. Um, whereas if you are able to separate yourself and say like, I'm a player who controls this character, but that character is not me. And I'm interested in finding out what happens to this character, but I don't automatically want what's best for him. I want what's interesting for him. I want fun and interesting things to happen to that character. And I want the character to do cool things and have cool moments. But I don't necessarily always want my character to succeed. I'm going to try to succeed. Um, and, and this... When you adopt that mentality towards your character, you stop caring quite so much about having all the answers, about always overcoming every obstacle that is placed before you, about being powerful. Like, honestly, I should do a video on the the separation between storytelling and optimization, because while you absolutely, like, I don't want it to sound like those are mutually exclusive. They are not. You can have both in equal measure. Please don't get the wrong idea. But there is, like, one becomes less important the more you focus on the other. It doesn't become harder. It doesn't become worse. It doesn't become unnecessary at any point, but it does become less important. So, uh, where actually was I? Someone walked across the front of my car and, or, or in front of my car, and I have fully lost all my train of thought. What even is this video about? I have no idea. Oh my gosh, I'm floundering here. So, uh, yeah, story, stories and secrets. So, uh, full trans. I'm always in in uh, 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 in favor of full transparency. I will always push towards total honesty 
between the players and the GM. So I'm, I'm against all fudging of dice. I roll in the open. I encourage others to roll in the open so that they can ne never be, uh, uh, there, there's no like question about whether or not you might be fudging dice. Um, uh, I, I think P there's, there's DMs who don't use hit points on their monsters. They just let the monster last until they feel like it should die and then it dies. I, that, all of these ways of pretending to interact with the game mechanics in way, in ways that's just like, you're going to go until I decide that the players are going to win. That is a terrible way. It, it's, it's so dishonest. It is fundamentally dishonest and it is lying to the players. And I always say, lie to the characters, don't lie to the players. That's my policy when it comes to controlling information. And when I run games, I take that to heart. If you want to know what the monster's stats are, I will tell you. If you ask, I will tell you. Uh, I used to volunteer the information. I have since stopped volunteering that information. Now it's, you, you have to ask because some people don't want to know. If you don't want to know, fine. You don't have to know. But if you ask, I will tell you. Uh... Because it, it's, there, there's, I think there's this idea, and this comes from like old school DMing, that keeping secrets and controlling information is very important, and I just don't see any value in that. Now there's plot elements. Like the DM is going to have plot elements they need to keep secret because at the end of the day, they are the primary performer and the players are the primary audience. We all, players and GMs, are an audience, and we are all performers, but the GM is the primary performer, and the players are the primary audience. And so there are elements that the, the GM needs to keep secret because uh, they don't want the players to know yet, because it's more, uh, it's more, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's more satisfying to find out in the moment. But keeping secrets for the purposes of preventing players from acting on information is a fully different mentality and one that I think is not particularly healthy or helpful. The only reason I can see to keep secrets is to create a bigger impact on the player's emotions and on the player's experience when that information is revealed. If that's not why you're keeping a secret, then I think you're probably keeping it for the wrong reason and you're probably hurting the storytelling potential of your campaign in doing so. So that's my take on information control and keeping secrets and honesty in RPGs.